Hi YouTube, my name is Connor Wolk and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to install CarPlay and Android Auto on your 2015 Hyundai Sonata. So the first thing you're going to want to do is um, check to make sure that you have the right configuration of your car. I have the 2015 Hyundai Sonata limited version, um, so my car does have the compatible um, navigation screen, but you just need to make sure that you have at least a 7 inch navigation screen or else um, anything five, 5 inches or lower will not be compatible with this update. Um, so what you're going to want to do first is remove the SD card um, from the slot that's provided here. You can see that the car already comes pre-built with the SD card in the um, slot there. Um, you're going to go ahead and push in on it and remove it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take this SD card inside to the computer for the next step. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do when you reach your computer is open up an internet browser. As you can see, I've done that here already. Um, so I'm open here on Google. What you're going to do is go to the website HyundaiUSA.com backslash my Hyundai. So as you can see, it's going to auto-complete it there, but that's going to be the website that you're going to want to go to in order to reach your owner dashboard. So as you can see, we've landed on this page here. Um, after you've done that, you're going to want to go ahead and log into your account. If you've never created an account, you'll need to register by clicking on the register button here. Um, I've already created an account, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and click log in. I'll skip one or two steps just to hide some of my personal information, um, but I will continue the video after that. So as you can see here, I've navigated through to the correct spot. Uh, when you log into the account, you're going to land on a page showing a picture of your car and some information about it, um, which you can access by clicking back on this button here. Um, however, after you've reached that page, you're then going to want to go ahead and click on this button here. Uh, this tab is called Downloads. Click on it, and it'll bring you to um, the page you see in front of you here. So as you can see, there is a vehicle software update available for me. I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that. You see there's Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. I have not installed either of those into my car yet, um, and that's what we're going to go ahead and do here. Um, you can see some information about CarPlay. If you want to learn more, you can go ahead and click on um, that button there. You also see some of the requirements for Apple CarPlay to work. So you have to have at least an iPhone 5 or above, um, a lightning cable in order to plug it into your car, and then a data plan. So I do have all of those. Um, I did already retrieve the SD card out of my car, um, which you saw a bit earlier. Uh, as long as you've done that as well, um, you're ready to go on to the next step. I have the SD card here sitting next to me. Um, don't, don't put in the SD card just yet. What you're going to want to do is click on this button here, um, agreeing to the terms and conditions. Feel free to read those if you, if you would like. And then download the update. You can see some of the download requirements. If you don't meet any of those, then this might not be the right path for you. Um, I do qualify for all of these, so I'm going to go ahead and download update. You can see some of the information about it here. Um, I've already read through all this nothing important just go ahead and click continue um, it's basically just telling you make sure you're connected to power and make sure you have um, about an hour at least to commit to this um, so I've done this a few times um, what you're gonna do is at the download go ahead and click on the DMG <clears throat> and I'll go ahead and open that and then double click to open the update tool yeah I'm sure I want to update it and then it'll start running the tool. At this point, it's going to tell you to update, or I'm sorry, to insert the SD card that we got from the car. Um, so I'm going to do that at this point. Go ahead and put it into either the SD card reader in your computer, or uh, if you don't have an SD card reader in your computer, you'll need to pick one of those up from either Amazon or a local um, electronics sh um, store. Uh, you're just looking for an SD card reader. So I've done that. Um, as you can see, it detected that there were an S was an SD card there after I hit retry. Um, so yes, that is the one. I'm going to go ahead and select that. So as you can see here, it has started to download the file after um, inserting the SD card into the computer and running that program. 
I did run into a bit of an issue before uh, when I first inserted it. It actually came up with an error saying that the um, SD card could not be written to because it was protected or damaged. Um, I just had to take it out and insert it back into the computer a few times. Um, I locked it and unlocked unlocked the SD card um, with a little tab on the side. So make sure that it is unlocked. Um, but really, I'm not sure what made it work versus before. Um, all you have to do is make sure that you do this a few times and it should start working for you. Um, but I'll go ahead and pause the video for now and then jump back to uh, when it is finished downloading. Okay, so as you can see, the download and all the four steps are finally finishing up. There's just a few seconds left here. Um, and as a reminder, this happened automatically when I inserted the SD card um, into the computer. It guided me through those steps very quickly. Um, so it says your download is complete. Um, there was just a few steps. The whole process probably took about an hour and a half or so. Obviously, that whole thing wasn't included in the video. Um, so now that it is complete, <clears throat> it is telling me to remove the SD card from my computer and put it back into the slot back in the uh, Sonata. So I'll go ahead and do that um, and then follow further instructions. Um, so I'll see you guys back outside. Now that the update is installed on the SD card, I'm going to reinsert it back into the car and have it install on here. It'll then detect that the SD card has been inserted and it'll restart the system. That'll take just a few seconds here. So the system is restarted. I'll wait just a second for this to allow me to agree. There we go. It's then going to um, have me click on setup. So you tap on the setup button down here. And then scroll down to system info. You see the current information and I'm going to click on update and it says insert the um, memory card, which I've already done, and I'll click OK to begin the update. Okay, it's gonna do this for about 40 minutes or so, so I'll check back with you when the update is about complete. So as you can see, it's completing the final step, six out of six here. <clears throat> Let's see what happens after it completes. Okay, it says update is complete. The system will now restart automatically. Um, speaking of which, throughout the whole process, <clears throat> if it says to restart the system, it actually means it's restarting it by itself. So don't ever turn off the power to the car. Um, it will automatically restart even if it says to restart the system. Uh, never have the car lose power, never turn it off. So you can see it's returning to the screen here. I'll go ahead and wait one more second here. And then it now says confirm instead of agree, as you notice. I'll go ahead and click on confirm there. And then go back down to setup here. I'll click on the setup button. And if all goes well, there should be a connectivity button that appears. Perfect. So connectivity is now a new option here. Uh, it was not there before, so it's um, you can see Android Auto is now on. And Apple CarPlay is now on. So as you can see, I have a USB cable as well as my phone here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and insert the USB cable into the USB port. So you can see it's now inserted. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, lightning side and plug it into my phone. I, as you can see, it automatically pops up here. Um, and then it pops up with a uh, first time 
information um, session here to uh, guide me through the tutorial. So unlock your phone to start CarPlay. I'll go ahead and type in my password on my phone um, and it automatically comes up with um, the CarPlay menu. As you can see, my phone is completely um, being run through this. I'm starting to play audio. Um, so that's it. We now have CarPlay enabled here. Thanks for watching.